Hey everyone, so I just got out of Chavez one hour ago and I have a lot of food left over and I didn't, I still didn't upload the Chavez prepping video because I'm not in, you know, I'm so worried about someone I love that, I don't know, it's just my... I'm out of breath, my heart is, it's like I feel that person is hurting and I don't know, I just wish I could take his pain away and I don't know what to do. I wish I could help and I don't know how to help. And it crushes me that that person may be suffering and I can't help that person. So anyway, um, today I wanted to make an update on pretty much everything that uh, has been happening this week it was so oh, chaotic. Some of the things I already uploaded about, but uh, so today I measured myself and I lost about 10 centimeters on my hips and breasts and about 5 centimeters on my waist which doesn't seem a lot but since my waist has a large difference uh, between my waist and my boobs and uh, hips so it's actually a lot uh, then uh, I have uh, this uh, medicine that I'm taking and I've been since it was Shabbos and I don't know a lot of the restrictions I ended up not doing anything because I was afraid of um, doing something that I can't do so I ended up not doing anything so I had a lot of time to think um, and get worried about people too but I wish I could help. I wish I could take away the pressure and the pain and oh well anyway as I was saying uh, and I'm sorry it's just my mind is somewhere else my mind is somewhere else and until I until I get news I'll probably be there forever my mind worrying but uh, okay so as i was saying uh, i got my schedule uh no now i know when my internship is going to end so and i was talking about weight loss it's just my mind is all over the place because there's so much happening because I didn't know, because uh, if you don't, for those who don't know, it is really hard to convert to here in Portugal, and it's been hard, and this weekend, I, you know, I, I haven't been able to keep Shabbos because of my family, always afraid that they phone, and uh, then I get problems, and the first Shabbos that I decide to do this, They well, I've been keeping Chavos partially, but I haven't been cutting off the electric uh, appliances because of this situation. I was afraid that my family would call and then I get in troubles for uh, you know not having the phone on. And uh, the, the weekend I say, you know what, they they don't phone, and so I'll just turn off the phone and uh have showers i've been wanting this for so long i was hoping to start in january and uh i couldn't in february i couldn't march i couldn't so it's been a long time and uh i wanted it so much and the first time i i i get to do it I'm alone and I wanted to share it with 
someone and show, but I don't, and I have so much things, so much good news to share, but I got the worst news ever this week, and it's like, I don't know, it's like I have good news, and I wish I didn't have good news so that I didn't have bad news either. Anyway, life goes on, and I have my dreams and uh, things that I have to work on. And so, for the third thing is, I lost more weight. Um, and no, this is not due to the, the medicine yet, this is just me losing weight because uh, it happens. Um... Then uh, I got, as I said, my schedule for my last weeks of classes and my internship. So I am excited because um, um, there is this kind of yeshiva that I want to go to study because in Portugal it is really hard to convert and. Uh, I had talked to the the person in charge there and said that I didn't know whether I'd go in September or whether I'd go in December because uh, the the course kept on being postponed and I was like you know I have to finish this course because uh, then I can get a, a better a be better options of getting employed in Israel and stuff like that so that I can kind of support my conversion and stuff like that because I, I, it's like it's like I want to go so bad and but I, I had to wait for my schedule and so I said that either I'd go in September or December but now that I am sure that the course is going to end in September, I am kind of trying to plan to go and do the paperwork so the Beit Dean has uh, the process, uh, my process open when I get there so I don't have to wait much longer because uh, it's hard to keep kosher here. It's really hard. You have no idea how hard it is and the family pressures me and <laughs> so much pressure and it's like I'm surrounded by Christians everywhere it's not easy and I used to have someone Jewish who would help me but <sighs> now I'm kind of learning on my own and so it's more important than ever that I find a way to go to Israel so that I can be with people that know and can help me learn because now I don't have anyone to help me either so I'm kind of stuck in time until I go to that kind of yeshiva well, I think it's for women, I don't know how, how you call it, but it's in Batayin, um, a settlement uh, in Israel. And uh, it is uh, Orthodox, which is what I was looking for. Uh, you know, I try support groups for converts in on the internet, but they're all Reformed Jews and they all try to deter people from seeking God and observance, they are more about uh, social justice than connecting to God and more about feminism than actually being Jewish. So it is important to me to go to Israel to meet actual people who are observant because even in my country uh, they're mostly liberal Jews and um, it's hard. So anyway, I'm getting ready uh, to, you know, I'm doing the paperwork. Uh, 
to go to Israel. I am going to talk to um, the person responsible for Batayin. Uh, I don't say her name because uh, I don't know if uh, it is proper to say it uh, online because I only knew it once I contacted them. Then uh, the person that was helping me did uh, get me her contact again. So it was quite curious that he, uh, you know, he had uh, those contacts and uh, was already familiar with the institution, which kind of, I was afraid, but then, um, cause I contacted him and wanted to go there. And curiously, he was already familiar with uh, Batayin and, um, that's uh, where I'm going to if I get accepted. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just so worried. I, I'm zoning out a little because I'm really worried. It's like, I don't even know if that person is alive anymore and if he's well of he, of, or if he got hurt or something. And oh gosh, I'm so worried. And I'm sorry. It's, so that's my update um, this week I'm also going to send the letter to the Pope to get my resignation or excommunication because I don't want to have anything to do with the church and I want to be able to tell my mom see I am excommunicated no way that I doubt that you can get me back to the church. Uh, I'm excommunicated. So that my mom gives up on trying to change me. Um, this is part of who I am and she needs to accept it. <sighs> so that's it. I am planning on uh, starting a small business to, to help me save some money. Um... And uh, about the weight loss, uh, now I know, you. Know, I, I think, uh, remember when I talked about why I couldn't lose weight and I thought it was some kind of glucose sugar malabsorption because uh, if I kept cut out uh, uh, wheat uh, products, potatoes and um, uh, rice that I lose a lot of weight and now I know it's because of this overage of insulin that basically digests everything almost instantly and because uh, your body is not using that energy it is stored uh, instantly and that's what makes you gain weight and uh, yeah I've, I've been reacting quite well to the medication this time so I don't see any necess necessity of cutting out on uh, my workouts. So I'll be keeping the intensity. Um, so that's it about the part of the workouts. Uh, I've lost again weight and I can almost fit in my sil silk blouse. Uh, I, I can only not fit because of my boobs. But the rest of my body already fits well in that silk blouse and I'm really glad because I haven't fit in it for the past four years. Um, so these are good news and uh, uh, I think uh, this medication is helping me with inflammation too. I've noticed that I'm not as bloated as I tend to be. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of water too, um, and I'm not holding on to as much water as I used to be. And again, I need to be mindful that this is just the beginning and I'm not sure how the, the effect, how it's going to work um, um, when I have higher dosages. But yeah, I'm still on the initial dosage of uh, the medicine. Okay, so this is, okay, I talked about my internship. I talked about going to Batayin. I'm talking, 
I have talked about. Okay. So, um, uh, now I'm going to be talking about the emotions I felt when I kept showers. I was feeling, you know, besides worrying about how someone is, I was happy because I've been wanting to be, it's what actually I hoped to become Shoma Shabbat before I became, I started kosher, although when I started eating kosher, I could never go back. And so I actually managed to go kosher before I became Shomer Shabbat. Uh, it's it's quite a, an amazing feeling. I I think I, I spent a lot of my day praying, and I don't know a lot of how to observe Shabbat, so I. <laughs> I even went to the bathroom in the dark and stuff like that. And well, uh, it was also a hard day. It was also a hard day. I'm so alone. It's like I'm so alone. It's it's like the silence and solitude is deafening. And I have all these news to to share, and I have no one to share them with. My mom goes against everything, all my dreams, and it's like my mom doesn't go, want me to go to Israel, and she she's always trying to scare me off and talking bad about people there, and. She doesn't understand how important it is, and the one person that got me and knew how important it was, I can't share this with. It's like the day I got the good news to tell was the day that I lost contact, and I was so, it's like, I started so happy that I had news to tell and I have these news that I want to tell and I can't and I just hope I could heal his heart and make him feel better and take away his pain and it's like the most the part that hurts the most is not knowing if that person is feeling well or how, how he, that person is feeling at all or because <sighs> he had gotten bad news that that uh, the day before and I wish I could help like I'm such a bad person that I don't even know how to help the people I love the most it's like it's weird because I am the kind of person that was made to care for other people and it's like when I see people are hurting or feel that they may be hurting and I can't do anything to help it's devastating to me I know he's hurting, and I know he feels lost, and I just wish I could shed some light and some happiness, and... <sighs> anyway, at least now I'm going to finally be able to lose this excess weight that I had. And I know that it's... Uh, it's weird because you spend all your life being told you're obese because you overeat, you should diet, and then you diet to get even more obese. And uh, you were under eating to begin with, and then you realize now that, oh gosh, this is so, this is so much. Because, uh, but, 
it's like the 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 excess insulin basically causes your body to store stuff store stuff even if you're under eating so if you're under eating it's going to reduce your body's daily expenditure so that you can still store fat still store um energy oh gosh it's so overwhelming and again, I'm lucky that I seem to have some problem with feeling uh, famine or uh, hungry because um, there is something broken that I usually am never hungry. Because if I was one of those people that is uh, hungry all the time, I don't know, it'd probably be twice the size that I am now. Uh, although I now know why I feel dizzy quite a lot. And, uh, you know, when I was under eating, I knew why, why it was. But now that I, okay, I'm still under eating, but calm down. <laughs> I've come a long way. I, ha I eat three meals a day. Uh, nowadays and I used to only eat uh, one meal so <laughs> bear with me but now I know it's because I get this insulin spikes they basically consume everything and because the, the energy gets immediately stored I get these huge headaches and uh, dizziness because my body has stored the energy it needs to run so uh if i had the hunger signal it would move, push me to eat more and thus creating again insulin spikes and gaining more weight and stuff like that but because i don't have that insulin spike i basically crash and feel like fainting and have those hypoglycemic hypoglycemic attacks and uh, that's that's that so in a sense it is good that i don't feel hungry because uh, i don't get heavier but at the same time it's bad because i have these headaches this dizziness that i can't quite control and uh feeling and is feeling tired all the time so, of course, uh, it's going to affect my body functions. Um, so, I, and actually the other day I spelled the name of the medicine wrong. It's metformin, not met, metmorphin. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, this is uh, basically uh, the update. Um, so I'm uh, trying to uh, get around with uh, finishing my essay. I don't know. I need to get it translated into Hebrew uh, because my Hebrew is really rudimentary um, and very basic. So I don't know how I'll get that. Um, then uh, I need to book a plane trip and uh, talk to Bataim's lady and see if she can schedule me with the bait in to open my process so that I can go uh, when I graduate from this course and finally, finally be able to study the Torah and study you know, because here it's really hard. Even if I live around a Jewish community, most Jews here are not observant. They're mostly liberal Jews, and uh, I don't want to be a liberal Jew. If I wanted to be a liberal, I'd stay agnostic atheist, I'd stay Catholic or whatever. Um, because my main problem with Christianity was always that it went against God's commandments and the Torah and 
now if I become a reformed Jew, I'd basically be doing Catholicism all over again and it wouldn't feel right. And uh, so, yeah, um, I am. So finally, my life is getting taken care of. I'm losing all the weight, finally, because he assured me that this medication would work because uh, I got the test results and this is really, definitely, finally, the solution and the reason why I have excess weight. There's a... Um, he is absolutely sure and he said this medication would, would work if I kept on the exercise I've been doing. It would actually work much faster than expected. And now I have the final schedule of the internship. I'm actually going to try and schedule in more hours to see if I can get more days to go to Israel and uh, finish it ahead of time. Um, and then, oh gosh, this is so much, so much things in the course of a week. Gosh, and can you realize how much effort? It's like, I lost so much weight without the medication and uh, without exercising and then I started exercising how much more will I lose with this medication it's crazy it's like I've been basically battling my own metabolism my own DNA <laughs> for years and still being able to have some success over it can you imagine how much more success I can get um, if uh, with this? This is so exciting. And uh, it's also exciting because now my family doesn't get to make fun of me because they know uh, they know that I tested, I made the, the tests and they know that I'm right. So thank God at least that is going to to subside because I was really bullied because of my weight and um, my brother eats like crap so he, he assumes that uh, since I'm much heavier than he is that I also eat like crap. Uh, the case isn't so and thank God I don't do that otherwise it'd be bigger because um, Again, more carbs, more insulin, more insulin, more hypoglycemia, and uh, it's a vicious cycle. So anyway, that's 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 this for uh, that's it for today. I hope you all have a good week, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on my weight loss. Um, Especially these first weeks because I'll be heading on to uh, the medicine and I'll be increasing my dosage. I'll be monitoring uh, my symptoms because it can cause heart attack symptoms because this medication affects uh, hormones and whatever. So, uh, yes, if I have any side effects besides um okay i probably sh i don't like to talk about these things but uh uh i did cramp a little on my stomach and i have uh liquid uh, stools uh, but this is one of the side effects that they said i'd have and uh, so far it's the only symptoms i i had is uh a little bit of liquid stools and uh, cramps in the stomach that subsided already but yeah so far it's the only side effects that I experienced and uh, yeah also I am not as bloated as I used to be 
um, which is great, and I think it accounts also a lot for the the measurement reduction I experienced this week because I have been measuring weekly, and so I lost 10 centimeters on my breasts, 10 centimeters on my hips, and about five on my waistline. So, yeah, that's it for today. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.